Good morning Internet, Adam Bate here from B2Net Solutions and this morning we're going to do a quick demonstration video on setting up Spam Assassin in Plesk 9. Uh, so basically setting up a spam filter for your email address in Plesk 9. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and log into your uh, hosting account. Now with Spam Assassin, the thing you have to remember is it needs to be enabled on the server if you're going to use it for your email accounts. Um, if it's not installed on your server, uh, simply open up a, a trouble ticket with us. We'll be happy to, to get it installed for you. Most Plus licenses come with Spam Assassin. Um, just some of the times, for whatever reason, if it was uh, a clean install of Plesk, um, there's a chance that it might not be installed by default. But it should be. What you're going to do to check, click on Domains once you're logged in. Um, click on the domain that you'd like to uh, to set up the Spam Assassin for. We're going to go into Mail Accounts. And from here, you're going to click on the account that you'd like to, to enable the spam filtering for. So in this case, we're going to pick Adam at the coffeebean.ca. And if Spam Assassin is enabled, if you have a spam filter on your, uh, on your Plusk 9 server, go ahead and click on Spam Filter that should be here. And once you're in here, you'll see Configure Spam Filter for Mail Account and the account name. Um, what we're going to do is tick the box that says Switch on Spam Assassin Spam Filtering. Um, there's a few settings here. Basically, the first one is a score that a message must hit in order to qualify as spam. Um, now, these scores are are given for a whole number of different reasons, whether it's um, you know the country of the IP address that it's sent from, or whether or not the IP address is currently or has ever been listed in a spam database, uh, the types of um, wording that's included within the message. There's a whole bunch of things and a whole bunch of criteria that's being ranked and scored um, for each uh, each email that sort of comes into your inbox. Uh, what I've found is that seven is a little too high. Seven still lets quite a bit of spam through the gate. Um, most spam messages are under, or sorry, most non-spam messages are well under one. Um, and so what I see, what I typically do here is set the score to either three or four um, and that sort of picks up a lot more spam and lets through um, you know normally lets through just the good stuff will you get some false positives yes will you you know let some spam through even at three yes but you can go into a little bit more of training and blacklisting and whitelisting uh, which we'll get into in a separate video and the following text, uh, add the following text to the beginning of the subject of each message recognized as spam. So if a message get flags as spam, we have a couple of options. The first being we can mark the message subject with um, some sort of string. In this case, it's four asterisks, spam, four asterisks. Um, you know, that, that'll stand out in my inbox. I think that's fine. You can then sort of set up filtering rules on the client side, whether you use Outlook or, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, Mail or, you know, OS X Mail or whatever you use, you can set up sort of filtering rules that send these to sort of a quarantine or a spam folder um, while you have a chance to go through them. Um, the second option is delete spam mail when it comes to my mailbox. Um, so in that case, you're not just going to mark it as spam, you're going to completely delete it as well. So it's not, you're not even going to get a, a chance to look at it. I wouldn't, recommending, I wouldn't recommend checking that right off the, right the get-go, um, just because you know, without training your, your spam assassin, without training your spam filter, you might have some you know, false positives and lost emails. Um, so you want to sort of get a score that works best for you. Spend you know a few weeks, few months training um, spam assassin, setting up a setting up a whitelist and a blacklist before you go ahead and delete spam messages right from your mailbox. So we're going to leave that unchecked and go ahead and click OK. And once this is uh, finished loading here, that's that's all there is to it. You've basically just set up a spam filter for your mailbox. Uh, you can go ahead and do that for multiple mailboxes on the server. Um, just because the spam filter is enabled on the server in general doesn't mean it's set up for each specific mailbox. Um, for example, if you're, you're setting up a mailbox that simply just redirects or forwards to another one, you don't need a spam filter on both of them, obviously. Um, so you can put the spam filter on the, the final destination um, and then that way mail will pass quickly through the, the first redirect. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, hit us up on Twitter. Or if you're an existing customer, feel free to open up a sport ticket in the client area. And we look forward to hearing from you.